Alright, that's a nice way to start things off. Hoss 0312, thank you very much for the follow. Play some Mario Party. Yesterday we did some Mario Party 3, now we're going back to the first game again. So, unfortunately, last time I played this with the DK's Jungle Adventure and lost. I'm gonna go with my boy Luigi. Might as well. We had Mario, we had Mario and Yoshi last time. We had Mario Party 3, so do that. And since this board is gonna be in Mario Party Superstars, I'm gonna do this one today. He just put their kick. I was actually planning on doing this board a couple months ago, back when it was. Back when it was my birthday, but unfortunately, birthday stream escaped me this year and couldn't do one. Because I was just too busy with work and other things. But better than ever, now we are going to do this board for real. I am your guide, Roopa, Roopa, today there's a party. <laughs> Big birthday cake, it looks delicious, but it just doesn't have enough decorations. <gasps> the horror! Add more decorations to the cake and help finish it. Use strawberries to decorate it, something good may happen. And go and this time. A present! Birthday present! Yeah. Where to find the first star? Now the star actually never moves from that spot, just like in uh, Mario's Rainbow Castle. The star is always going to be there. It's probably going to be a rather low scoring game, at least compared to that Mario Party 3 game we played yesterday where everybody got like almost five stars. <laughs> Engines in the title about the birthday cake. Hey, here's a good mini game to start off with. Pops that one. Also, I feel like this is the probably the board where it's most common to get 2v2 games because of all the happening spaces. Ready? Go! Aha! We have overtaken you. Peach's birthday game because that is, as I've mentioned, one of the boards that will be in Mario Party Superstars. And a very nice addition in my opinion. I like Peach's birthday cake. I love the music to it especially. Yeah! Ah, we were 30 milliseconds away from tying the record. Well, I 
guess nothing happened. Alright, so my own picture type are happening. Another 2v2. Ah, oh, one defense. It's not gonna. Might not go so well for us. Yeah! Winner is the Mario Brothers! Check your pulse, Luigi. <laughs> That's just what it looks like to me. Joey, are you okay? Check his pulse, Yugi. Alright, the seed minigame. Probably kind of... Bad news. Because there's one seed that has Bowser on it. You go there, you go to a path where you go to Bowser and he steals 20 coins from you. Hmm. Hmm. Chance time. Uh, no. Leave me alone. Hey, no one got stars. Hmm. <laughs> I just realized something. You gotta. Unlike Mario Party 3, this doesn't do the whole thing where it keeps the save after every turn, so. Really gotta keep that in mind. Hey, hidden block! suit gets nothing from this, like absolutely nothing. Nothing to gain and everything to lose. Except for stars. Poor, poor D. 
DJ. That minigame is terrible. Like one of the worst minigames in all of Mario World. I think there's an audio boost there, sorry. Sorry, DK, you're losing all those coins again. Poor DK just can't hold on to his coins. Let's pick a delicious cake for Mario. Man, that would have been so sad if we got Bowser again. <laughs> Could have, he could have actually gotten Bowser again and gone right back to where he was. Let him, let him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, four player game finally. Platform Carol. This one's actually kind of. Mushroom, I hear it's bad for you. Oh, one player game. Uh, 
welcome to the Time Waster. Pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but no matter what difficulty the AI is on, they're always going a pattern with this mini game. They hit the right one, then they hit the wrong one. Right one, wrong one, right one, wrong one. But it always wins anyway, because they have just enough time. Start. In other words, they're just waste time. How's everybody's day doing? Been a nice day so far. Finish. Yep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I hear they're actually, those happening spaces, they make it so that you steal, you can plant piranha plants on those spots, and if one other player lands on them, you steal a star from them, but in Mario Party Superstars, I've heard that you can actually also steal coins from them now. Doesn't exactly make... Sort of doesn't really make sense to me, because why would you want to go going where you can steal a star? Yeah. I'm getting the timing down again. It's been a little while. Ah, oh, DK1. Win that one, it's just uh, it's been a little while, so I'm a little out of practice with it. Alright, what you gonna do, Mario? Get it down. Peach got happening. I wouldn't have minded that much if I got a one. <laughs> B3. Oh, uh, okay, good. I think Home Block Blast was the only real good one in that lineup there. Flower. 
Ah, I'm gonna save my coins. Might be my favorite music in the game, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> and here's where I lose the minigame star. I didn't lose as many uh, coins as I thought I would. I hate that. I hate that how you lose coins in the minigame star total if you lose coins in a minigame. So stupid. Serves you right. Oh, no. I'll go see your boyfriend. Number 69. Well, I guess nothing happened. Running of the boat. Mm 
I say Mario. See, he, the hammer bro cast a shadow with his plaid too, so it's like hard to see. I'm trying to like look for the shadows with the coins in the bags, but the hammer bro shadow makes it hard to see it. Scamper. This is another one that I lose, but I'm 
least I'll get five coins out of it. I can never win this one against hard CPUs. I love the color of the Luigi skip. Yep, I knew it. Well, at least I'll get five coins. Excuse me. Oh, he actually has a first gun. Oh, Sorry, Mario. We can all agree that Peach cheats. Hey! Alright. Yeah, this one's kind of meh, because it's kind of look based. so bad. The warp block just ruined his chances. He was about to get his own star and then Peach was like, yeet with the warp block. Peach is content! Looks like there's some kind of party here. Looks like you guys were having some kind of party last night. Oh no! Party, party, party. Doesn't matter what I pick now. Warp block could still mess me up just like it messed up Mario, so I'm not gonna hold the bliss. Yep, it's like oh. Are you still gonna be sick. A lot of war blocks on this game. Oh boy, Shy Guy says. This one's gonna be tricky. Bringing this mini game back in uh, Mario Party Superstars. Makes sense, it's a classic. I'm also glad they're bringing back uh, this version rather than the Mario Party 2 version. Oh! Even though in the top 100 version of this game, they use the, uh, they use the Mario Party 1 version of this game, but it's. They used the Mario Party 1 version of this game in the top 100, but it played like Mario Party 2 because it faked, faked, them, out, faked them out a lot more in the top 100. I will go 
loaded with the ship. <laughs> I miss TRG playing Mario Party. It's been a while. I know they couldn't get together because of recent events. Last year has not been kind to travel. Dang, poor Mario. I think they were originally gonna play the next Mario Party if they were able to get together, but they couldn't, so they had to settle for a different thing instead. I guess they're going to do Mario Party DS next. And that's technically the next game after, uh... I think they said they were going to do that. I mean, they were going to do, like, every Mario Party... Every multiplayer Mario Party. Including the handhelds. I think John even said that a lot of screens. Their Mario Party... Their Mario Party... Their Mario Party projects, I don't know what other people do this. Oh, this one might not be good for us. I might end up losing coins here. Ready? Go! with that victory animation there. <sighs> Alright, I can win the Mario Party 1 version of that on hard difficulty. But not Mario Party 2 because the CPUs are excuse me, way too crazy with button mashing. Only two coins. Yellow! The man with the yellow hat. I miss reading those books. I had like a big book of like all the early Curious George stories as a kid and I loved reading that. I remember it was actually kind of a ooh moment when uh, I heard that Curious George was getting his own movie. <laughs> like I saw the movie poster in the theater and I was like, oh, neat. The movie was actually kind of nice. It's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, oh, well, I got plenty of coins. Go ahead. You're poor anyway. I'm a good brother. I'm a good brother. I loan my brother money when he needs it. There you go, bro. Besides, I own the mansion anyway. going to make sure I do not get a star. I'm going to try to make sure I don't get a star. Oh no! I forget, does she even have? She has a star, yeah. Uh, yep. There you go, DK. You're welcome. At least in this game, it can only be one star, unless it's star swap. Alright, let's see again. Four player, keep away. Keep 
Way. He's got the key. The key! What do you think it is? I know. I'll go and make a distraction while you get the key. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I want to do the distraction. Okay, I guess it really doesn't matter who does the distraction. Hey, DK is photobombing me. <laughs> oh, I'm play a game. Well, the games are pretty rare on this board. Because I think there's only like two spaces on the entire board. And the pizza goes as yes. Now she gets the happening space, but nothing happened because she's poor. But now I get the happening space, and I will not do anything because I want to hold on to my coins. You'll never know when you're going to lose back a bunch of coins here. I'm gonna stop doing that voice. <laughs> Make sure I got a good lead on everyone and beat everyone in a tie when push comes to shove. Running at the bull! Again! It's a good one though. Mario Party's got some classic minigames. It's got some terrible ones, but it's also got some classics. Mario Party 1 hits there. Ready? Go! Jeez, DK. You think you'd be a bit better at fighting boots? I want DK to be the next Luigi's Mansion. If there is a Luigi, uh, fourth Luigi's Mansion. It seems like the next, the next step, just bring the Kongs in. <laughs> Crossover with Donkey Kong. Crossover with Donkey Kong Country for the next Luigi Mansion. We get like a bunch of mansions based on like Donkey Kong Country worlds or something. Like get one based on like a theme park, the theme park from Donkey Kong Country 2, get like the factory from Donkey Kong Country 1. Finish! <laughs> Luigi's Mansion for Mansion Country. <laughs> there you go, Nintendo. I just came up with a new idea for you. Couldn't really get into the That was that was fun streaming the Ricky's Mansion 3 back on the Switch a few years ago. But I couldn't really get into the multiplayer on that. This is not right. I was unfortunately kind of getting a bit bored with the multiplayer when I streamed it that one time. I just don't think it's as engaging as the game single player mode. Oh no! Oh, no! Getting coin boodles! Two, one, and another happening space! 
pretty sure the peach still has half in there. Again, I shall save my clothes. I want to be rich! I want to be rich forever! Okay, kind of catching up. Well, not. Well, not sort of. Yeah, it probably is a good idea that I chose to hang on to my coins. I could lose 15 right here. As long as that wasn't me in the long run. Ooh. Good thing you don't have a star. I'll take another happening space. But again, I want to hang on to my coins. Watch, make sure I don't get a 4 next turn. I'm thinking Peach still has. Oh! DK! He's laying out a minefield for me. He wants to take the lead. Okay, four and uh, seven. Next turn. Do not want Treasure Doggers again! Yay! It's kind of hoping for facelift. I don't remember if it's a little nervous. Teach you this lesson, old man. Sixteen, every more than last time. This isn't my birthday. This isn't my birthday. Why does she get a birthday party but not me? Brrr. Oh, I missed. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna land on the same space. Oh, he gets another star. 
Me and DK just destroyed everybody. Do, 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 do. That's an alright uh, fanfare there, my favorite, though it's still from Mario Party 3. Ah, I was actually kind of hoping for Slot Car Derby to fix it. All of my friends hate Slot Car Derby. I just don't think it's that bad. You jerk! I just remembered something. Something I didn't mention on the stream before. Oh, okay. it doesn't have a stomach. Something I didn't mention on the stream before, but since the... I could have mentioned this yesterday, but I didn't. The Spider-Man No Way Home trailer recently came out. Or the first trailer, the teaser trailer. And... Doc Ock's back! Woo! Alfred, Alfred Molina, Doc Ock. One of the best Doc Ocks. He's probably my favorite uh, live-action portrayal of a Spider-Man villain. With, Green, with uh, Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, a close second. Like, I go back and forth on who my favorite Spider-Man villain is. It might be Doc Ock. And it might be... Green Goblin. Okay, on defense again. Run D! Slam dunk! Hey, the same team is too. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I'm super glad that Doc Ock's back. I was gonna say, I was gonna say it looked like he hadn't aged at all, and that's awesome. But then again, I th I then heard that uh, they actually used some digital effects to make him look younger, which I guess makes sense. I mean, I haven't seen him in a whole lot, a lot of other movies bes besides Spider-Man 2. I think the only other one I saw him in was like an Indiana Jones movie. but definitely excited for him to be back. I heard that he's not supposed to be the same Doc Ock from the movie he's supposed to, I mean from Spider-Man 2, he's supposed to be a slightly different version. I like the idea of it just being the same one better. I like to believe he's, like, when he gets in the, in the MCU-verse, He's already made his, like, he just made his deal with Harry Osborn to bring Spider-Man to him so that he could kill him, and he was looking for Spider-Man, and to look for Spider-Man, he had to look for Peter, and that's why he's going, like, hello, Peter. But, that's my own theory. That's pretty much the only theory I got with that. But I think from what I've heard, it's, uh, not exactly the same Doc Ock. Pretty similar, but different. Similar, but different. As different as you are for Brock. Once you bond, it will reflect your hatred for humanity, your lust for destruction. I'll take it. It must take you. Come on. What are you waiting for? I am yours, man. We are gonna be glorious carnage throughout the land. Carnage, eh? I like the sound of that. You promised us, Carnage. Deliver it. Uh, speaking of that, Venom Let There Be Car Venom Let There Be Carnage coming out too, and I'm actually pretty excited for that. It's Venom vs. Carnage, and I think Woody Harrelson's a great choice to play Cletus Cassidy. 
I was actually probably my most exciting moment seeing the first movie was the stinger with uh, Cletus Cassidy, even though Woody Harrelson was wearing a ridiculous looking curly wig. <laughs> Whoa, still the last die. God, he's got a much better hairstyle than the movie proper. Once again, I saved my coin because I want to be rich. Actually, probably would have been a good idea. To... But, oh well, maybe I'll maybe I'll make another one later. I am getting pretty rich, so maybe I can start. Eh, I don't know. My whole strategy is just get as much coins as possible so no one can ever beat me in a tower or beat me, beat my corn star lead. What else about, yeah, definitely looking forward to Ready? Let There Be Carnage. Hey, we're actually late this time. Oh, 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 and uh, Willem Dafoe coming back as the Green Goblin. Or at least the Green Goblin coming back at all. The original Green Goblin. We'll meet again, Spider-Man! And lo and behold, they will. There's a lot of theories going around that the Peter that Doc Ock is talking to in the trailer is actually Tobey Maguire's Peter. Which I'm all for, because he's still my favorite Spider-Man. I know he doesn't like do the whole wisecracking thing as much as Andrew Garfield does, which the whole the witty quips is a staple of Spider-Man's character. Oh, yeah, new record. Let's go. New record. Oh yeah. Dang. Peach is actually getting a lot of coins here. I just noticed what Mario I got a star. Alright, he got a star last turn. Whoop. Twenty-four. That was a quick turn. And Mario Bandstand. So what else? Yeah, Willem Dafoe coming back as the Green Goblin. I'm pretty sure he that is him, and it's not actually somebody else. Which why would you ever why would you ever recast that? Because he was excellent as the Green Goblin. I heard that he's gonna have a slightly new look to him, like he's, they're gonna add like a. Yeah, I'll focus on this. that he was going to have like a hoodie in the uh, new version to make him look a bit more like, like his suit won't change that much, but he'll at least have like a hoodie to make him look a bit more like he did in the comics, which I'm alright with. I think he can look cool. I know a lot of people that don't really like that Green Goblin suit and that it looks so uh, too much like something out of Power Rangers, which they're correct about that. <laughs> But I still really like the old Green Goblin suit. Oh, Bowser again! Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, right now. Give me a one! Okay. Now I'll take losing coins. 
Shower of Network? Ah. Well, I would have taken all over as well. <laughs> I can't I can't do it left. Not right now. So many good things happening for you. All for you, Norman. Oh, okay. What do you want? To say the things you won't. To do what you can't do. To remove those in our way. Hey, I win. The board members. You killed them. We killed them. We? Remember? Your little accident in the laboratory. Look at me, I've been hooked 200 plus coins now. Woo! The performance enhancers. Bingo. Me, your greatest creation. Giving you what you've always wanted. Power beyond your wildest dreams, and it's only the beginning. There's only one who can stop us. Or, imagine if he joined us. <laughs> hey, DK got the 24 part. Wait, did he just sign up? Oh, no. Three, two, one. That was actually pretty close, by the way. I almost signed up with Vicky's happening space. Uh, Alright, I'll take this over. Thank you. Also, I heard that Electro and Sandman are supposed to be back in. I'm actually not. I know they're, they're supposed to. Like in the trailer, you see the yellow electricity. Like Electro has yellow electricity now, even though in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 it was actually blue. Aha! Finish. Like I, I feel like they didn't have to do that. Like I understand them trying to make it more comic accurate because his electricity is yellow in the comics. But I was totally fine with him having. Like blue electricity and Amazing Spider-Man 2. Did, 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 I mean, did everybody, anybody, did anybody really complain that his electricity was the wrong color? I'm pretty sure they complained more about his design than they did his actual electricity. Like especially his second suit. I can understand why people don't like that. I mean, it's all right. I definitely think he looks better in the video. Though. Kill the lights, then everyone will know what it's like to live in a world without power, a world without mercy, a world without Spider-Man. Also, I heard the lizard's coming back too. I want to create a world without weakness. Poor Peter Parker. Eh, she got Koopa. She pretty much got her coins back just now. Take these 20 coins. I think a lot of people didn't really like uh, didn't really like the lizard's design in uh, Amazing Spider-Man either. I liked it fine. I think I like it better than Electro's. Is uh, I don't know. I guess they're about the same.
Nah. Let's go hold on to my coins. And if somebody lands on that space, then I'll have my, let myself to blame. Oh, wait, did he just... No, he didn't. <laughs> he almost did, though. I would have been kicking myself if he landed on that space. So that guy says again. Oh, here's another theory I have about uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. I think the Sandman will actually be a good guy. Or he'll actually turn good. And maybe like help out the help out Spider-Man. Or the Spider-Man, if the other Spider-Man are in it too. Cause Sandman in Spider-Man 3 wasn't evil at all, he's just a guy who... Oh no! Oh, that was terrible. Oh, that was terrible. And go ahead and take your victory, DK. Take your W. You ruined it. I just made a mistake. But, uh, yeah, Sandman wasn't, wasn't really a bad guy in Spider-Man 3, he was just a guy that wanted to do whatever, wanted to do anything to save his daughter and that included Robin Banks. And Spider-Man just kept getting in the way because he's like, Hey, no, you're breaking the law, buddy. Don't do that. Sandman was like, Stop following me. Get out of my way. So I think Sandman could actually become a good guy in No Way Home and help out Spider-Man. I think that would be a good good development for his character. Because like in Spider-Man 3, he never actually uh, got captured. I mean you could easily work him into the You can easily work him into the story without changing his story at all. You don't even need to make like an alternate version of him. You can just send the regular version over and not much would change. Like, I'm, I have a theory, like, maybe he's actually not causing destruction with Electro, he's actually fighting Electro, because I think there was actually... There's, like, some moments in the trailer where you can see, like, electricity and sand in the same spot, and I'm like, maybe they're fighting each other, not actually just... destroying stuff together. I think it'd be really cool to see Sandman be a good guy. Sandman was one of the best things about Spider-Man 3. Had some really good effects too, and had a good story. I'm a horrible shot with this. I know I've won, we've won, we've won on this before. Nah, we're, we're losing this. At least it's only going to be losing 5 coins for us. It's not exactly fair for the one we- did you- oh! Wow, we won! I was going to say, it's not exactly fair for the one player in these 1v3 games, because if they lose, they end up losing like 15 coins, whereas uh, if we were to lose, we lose 5 coins each. So. Really, it kind of just sucks to be the one player all around in most of these 1v3 games. Oh. Another star for DK. Yeah, so. I mean, I could definitely see Electro being a bad guy. There wasn't really a lot of good things about him in uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. He was obviously a guy who had some uh, mental. He had some mental issues even before he became Electro.
Yes, it's made it. Made it before the swamp could crush us. Yeah! Let's go, DK. We are the kings of this hill. What else about when out no way home? Spider-Man and Doctor Strange teaming up. Which I like I actually like more than uh, Spider-Man and Iron Man teaming up. I've only seen the Doctor Strange movie once, and the only thing I really remember from it is the Dorm Hummer I've come to park and seen. <laughs> so a lot of the yeah, be honest, a lot of the MCU movies haven't really caught me all that much. With the exception of maybe the Spider-Man movies and the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Yeah! Or in the Avengers movies. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't stars. I didn't want anything too crazy to happen. I just didn't really get into the Iron Man or Thor or uh, uh, Cap Captain America movies that much. I think the one I liked the most was probably Civil War out of the Captain America ones. Oops, I thought I was I thought I was the one player. I thought I was DK. <laughs> Oops. All right. so sad. He's like, stop hitting me in the head! Finish. Ow! I have feelings too, you know. See, that's what you get. You lose your coins. You give them to the monkey. He deserves those coins more than you guys do. You guys are just bullies. one way to get last place. Third time today. Ready? Go! Oh, I got squished. Ooh, I'm a couple of No, it was me, it was me. Oh, that's fucking touch.
Yes, nothing happened. I actually don't even know who has Happening Star anymore, speaking of. Two v two, maybe? Yep. Pops that one again. I am completely fine with. I love this mini game. I think this is my favorite two v two. Two mini game in the game. It's probably in my uh, top ten of favorite two v twos overall in all of Mario Party. Maybe even top five. Peach is apparently better at mashing the buttons than Mario is. Jokes on you, he doesn't want to start anymore. No, they have the same amount of coins, too. <laughs> hmm, maybe Peach still has happening now. Finish. I wonder if the 
<laughs> the last one I did do, I jumped on this and had one. See what you're doing back here. Many games should have been a one week, uh, just a one player game. Finish. Can't believe that happened. <laughs> landed on landed on two plants twice in a row. Get 
Yeah, that makes sense that you could still have it. Finish! That minigame is terrible. Space now. I actually want to plant a seed. I must have revenge! I just wanted to play it safe. Staying in the middle. Just in case I missed and ended up sending myself off the edge. Oh! Mario just cannot hang, hang on to his stars. You have way too many stars now, my dude. Yeah. At least I ended up, at least I didn't give a star to him. Of course, that star that was originally mine that became Mario is now belong to him, so technically I did give a star to him. about to get another one too. That is if he doesn't get out there from the seeds. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey Mario, Peach, Truth. His six stars. When is your turn gonna end? I feel like I, well, I know I have mini game and coin. That most that most certainly have coin. Uh, ever seen that minigame last. Somebody, somebody's still DK star. I don't even care if it's me. DK just needs to have his star stolen now. He's got way too many. His stars are equal to everybody else. To everybody else's combined stars. Here we go. 
Alright. Watch the heck out, DK. It's a trap! I prefer if it's DK that lands on this, but even so, I'll still take a star anyway. No matter who it's from. Oh, I hope he gets a slow block again next turn. More of a chance for him to get a 2. again. Play game. Lock, lock tower. I think Peach is actually the only one who's played one player game. But, uh, no, 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 wait, no. Mario played shell game earlier. Really. Just to be on my way. Ah, you have been chosen. You're going to a better place. Finish. Gotcha. Care. I would have preferred if it was DK, but I'm still fine heck getting a star anyway. Oh, no. Poor Mario though, why is he always the only getting a star stolen? I think he's had the most stars stolen. <laughs> Seeing whether I watch other people play this board or I'm playing it myself. At this point, I can only hope, right now, I can only hope to like clean sweep the bonus stars. That's the only way I'll beat DK right now. 
But he's probably gonna get another star before the game's over. Platform peril. Yeah, actually, it's a good thing I got a warp block then. Oh no! We've managed to we managed to avoid all the control stick spending mini games for so long until now. not to go too fast because I'm gonna hurt myself if I go too fast. That's what she said. Uh. Well, we win. I mean, we got more coins. Okay. My hand don't look too bad. Two next turn. Is gonna get a lot of coins. 
teetering towers. I remember playing uh, years before I owned this game for myself. I did play it at like a friend's house, and this was one of the game mini games I definitely remember playing. Like I think it was this and uh, facelift are the ones that I remember the most. Like playing from when I was like really young. I don't find this minigame that bad, once you figure out how it works. It's a pretty good one. This makes me think of Bad Monster Mansion. The texture on that ground and the mood in the background. I like those utensils. There are those forks. Hey, speaking of facelift, here it is finally. Woohoo! I'm the worst luck out of everybody here. Crazy cover. That's another one of my favorites. Oh yeah! Is that in record time? Five turns. Finally get there. In all fairness, that's actually not a bad prediction. Wop, 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 wop,
I Wombo, you Wombo, Ishimi Wombo. Wombo, Wombo in. Wombology, the story of Wombo? It's first grade, SpongeBob. Hmm, I don't think anybody's gonna make it to that uh, plant that I planted before the five turns are up. Maybe Mario will, but he doesn't have any co uh, stars. I almost said coins, but he does have coins. He has six. Meanwhile, he's actually... Uh, oh, boy. Oh, come on! Again! Are you kidding me? Playing a factor to this. Alright, I can only hope I can get that star back from him before the game is up. Well, it's not gonna matter anymore because Dika's gonna have seven stars. I need another star. is going to continue with me being unable to win a 50 turn game of Mario Party 1. And all because of the happening spaces. Maybe that's the trick is to jump. Oh, well, not. not in that instance. Stars. How many more trains do we have left? Okay. to land on chance time have DK swap stars with me. Or have a star stolen from him or something. And that's pretty much the only way DK is gonna lose now is by chance time. Get away from me! Oh well. Finish. At least he went down with me. DK got his revenge for losing on his home board last time. I was playing as DK last time with DK's Jungle Adventure and I lost. Mm, 
Hundred coins. I would be destroying everybody if my stores weren't getting stolen. Nope. <sighs> If he gets a six, I have a chance. 
But I also need to clean sweep the bonus stars, and that's not gonna help. Six. That's an upside down six. Oh, what a tease. I lose, DK wins. Ah, DK wins. Once again, in typical Mario fashion, Mario ruins his brother's chances of immortality. Oh, I'm just I'm tempted to just like not make it make it so that it can't get that out of spite. <laughs> Whatever, I got me game stuck anyway. DK wins, DK wins, let's just get through this. DK wins, DK wins, nobody cares. DK wins, DK wins, DK wins, I get the minigame star. DK wins, DK wins, nothing matters anymore. DK wins, DK wins, I get the coin star. 300 plus coins get all my level of scrubs. DK wins, DK wins, happening star goes to Mario. Even, so even if I didn't, so even if hmm, you got the coin step in the belt. Whatever, I don't even care anymore. DK wins, DK wins. Blah, 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 blah. Joke's on you, the kick is a lie. Once again, the curse continues. Aha! You deserve it! You deserve it! You deserve it! Aha! <laughs> I think this is the most salty I've gotten on these streams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead and clap with your fists. Imitating that smash button victory pose. Freaking happening spaces. I was doing so good. Look at all those coins I got. Ah. 356 coins in minigames. I destroyed them. I destroyed them on the minigame star. And I destroyed them in coins too. I can at least say it was a good performance when you get in the court last. So, not a complete loss. I'd be more upset if I got last. <laughs> 13 happening spaces. Oh, I was one away. Not that it would have mattered anyway. I blame that poison mushroom. But even so, it wouldn't have mattered anyway if DK still won. DK still would have won. That was a rough one. Just goes to show, thieves always lose. Yeah, he stole stars from me more than everybody else did. I got two stars stolen from, uh... Ooh, 31 coins is interest. I got three stars stolen and two of them were from Mario. So, 
Dang right, he deserves last place. Nasty thief. I like this, uh, title screen, though. Rest in peace, Wario. <laughs> Alright, so that kinda gotten better once again. The curse continues. Maybe, just maybe one of these days I'll finally win a 50 turn game of Mario Party 1. I got so close, but then I got robbed. Quite literally robbed. Anyway. That'll be all for today. So yeah, that was about an hour... Hour less than the last stream. Mario Party 1's a much shorter game than Mario Party 3, it would seem. Of course, you don't have battle games and duel games in Mario Party 1. You do have one-player games, though. Anyway, that'll be all for today. Maybe next time I'll do Mario Party 2, and hopefully I have better luck there. I think I have an idea on what board I want to do next for Mario Party 2, but I won't spoil it. Unfortunately, I've already done uh, Space Land. Space Land's the one that's going to be in Mario Party Superstars, but I already did it. And Mario won that one. Well, I could always do it again if I wanted to, but eh. I feel like doing a different board. Anyway, we'll see. So I think I'll probably do Mario Party 2 next. Anyway, thank everybody who wa everyone who watched this, whether you watched it on Twitch or YouTube. Pause again, thank you for the follow at the very beginning. Well, thank you for tuning in for a little bit. So, hope everybody has a good day, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!